let's now listen in uh, to what all of these leaders have said. Do you expect any different reaction? So why are we deliberating on this issue? I don't answer baseless allegations. You kindly tell me the lacuna in the order given by me. Kindly show me the irregularity or illegality in the order passed by me. If there is any, then I will answer. Sir, so they are also said that they will be approaching Supreme Court against... Every citizen of India has the right to approach the Honorable Supreme Court and the Honorable High Court. However, just because you approach the court, that does not mean that the order passed by the Speaker is overturned. You have to establish that it is illegal or untenable in the eyes of law. I mean, I feel that the responsibility that was given to them didn't come into it. The matter was clear, it was a disqualification. That's why we went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court gave a framework. What should happen, how should happen. And the Supreme Court gave us our whip, Sunil Prabhu and the good leader Ajay Chaudhary. उसको उनकी जो हमने नियुक्ति की थी वो मान्य की थी तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा था कि इस फ्रेमवर्क में आप देखो कि उस दिन क्या था तो उन्होंने वो छोड़कर नई अदालत उन्होंने की और सुप्रीम कोर्ट से भी कुछ अलग या ऐसे उनको लगता है कि इतनी महाशक्ति उनके पीछे कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट भी हमारा कुछ उनका कुछ बिगाड़ नहीं सकती सत्य में वो जीते है आखिर सच्चाई की जीत हुई है सच्चाई की जीत हुई है लोकशाही की जीत हुई है और ये मेरिट पे रिजल्ट दिया हुआ है क्योंकि मैं पहले से कहता था कि लोकशाही में मेजॉरिटी को बहुत इम्पोर्टेंस होता है और इसलिए आज स्पीकर ने जो फैसला सुनाया है ये लोकशाही में ये डेमोक्रेसी का जीत है एक बार फिर सिद्ध हो गया कि पावर और पैसा संविधान के ऊपर आकर बैठ गया है जिस प्रकार से हम पर अन्याय हो रहा है पूरा भारत देश पूरा महाराष्ट्र राज्य से देख रहा है विधानसभा अध्यक्ष राहुल नार्वेकर को जिम्मेदारी दी गई थी कि आप न्याय कीजिए शिवसेना पार्टी पर जो अन्याय हो रहा है उसे रोकिए लेकिन दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है कि उन्होंने भी हम पर अन्याय ही किया पहले all right, we have in fact heard several uh, reactions from across the political spectrum as far as uh, the Shiv Sena, uh, you know, internal tussle verdict is in fact concerned. Meanwhile, uh, with us on the broadcast is a political analyst, Ridesh Ratan Nigam. Good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on News X. Now, um, things have not quite bubbled down yesterday itself after the verdict and the blow. Uh, Uddhav Thakare had in fact commented that democracy has been murdered and now it seems that the INDIA block a partner, the NCP, is also echoing his uh, statement. NCP leader Jitendra Awad has uh, in fact put up posters in Thane at this point saying that um, you know people of Maharashtra have seen the murder of democracy with open eyes and the public will give a just response. Meanwhile, Uddhav Thakre is also looking at uh, you know moving to the Supreme Court of India, how do you view all of these developments? Well, in fact, uh, if you look at the entire chain of events, there were actions and counteractions by the two factions of the Shiv Sena. However, when a party is being run in a dictatorial manner, like a dictatorship, then such problems arise and there are splits. And while the speaker, while deciding this issue, went on the constitution of 1999, which was submitted by the Shiv Sena. Uh, with the Election Commission of India. There were no other constitution which they tried to rely subsequently after the split, uh, tried to put in before the uh, speaker. They were not relied upon, simple reason being that uh, they were not submitted and it was not an official and authenticated constitution of the party according to which the leadership structure could not be relied on. The leadership structure was relied on on the basis of 1919 1999 constitution of the Shiv Sena. And therefore, what is to be seen is the constitutionality, legality in terms of that constitution. And based on that, uh, the speaker uh, came to a conclusion that Uddhav Thakre did not have the power to remove anybody. And uh, the specific provisions have also been quoted therein. So legally, in my opinion, uh, the speaker's 
role was to see the constitutional validity in terms of the law, and which he has done so. Why those constitutions which the Sikh Sena tried to rely were not never submitted to the Election Commission of India is one of the moot questions. And seems like they had the you know any time they can write a constitution, put it uh, inside their own pocket. Nobody knows, and then they say no, 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 no. This is the constitution. This is not how the law works. This is not how the speaker's role is. They will go by record. They will go by the Election Commission of India. And in, because of that, they have declared uh, it to be uh, uh, Ekna Shinde's faction to be the real Shiv Sena. Yes, they have a right to go to the Supreme Court because ultimate arbiter is the Supreme Court. However, the scope of the Supreme Court is quite limited here because the Speaker is a uh, sovereign uh, function and our legislatures are also sovereign. And uh, the uh, Supreme Court will not go into many disputed questions. And it is, in my opinion, it's the correct verdict. It has its political ramification. Yes, NCP and Sivshena are together now. They will speak in the same language. But will it uphold in the court of law? In my opinion, no. And uh, the benefits uh, of the coalition which the BJP has with Eknath Shinde government is uh, going to go to them. They will reap those benefits. And it's a lesson for all of the regional parties which are based on family. They have to be transparent, they have to be democratic, they have to allow other persons to also rise among the ranks who are working very hard. Mm. Otherwise, the splits will take place, whether it is Samajwadi party, maybe not today, but tomorrow, maybe there are other parties like Mamta Banerjee or DMK, you have uh, the Stalins where the reins are passing from one member of the family to another member of the family, and the real people who actually work on the ground, who do not do, who do not have that dynastic entitlement, or they do parachute landing. The ones, other ones are the workers who want to rise within the ranks, work hard and rise. That opportunity is not available. And therefore, there will be clear possibility of splits tomorrow in other parties as well. It's a very important lesson for all the parties, family-based and dynastic parties. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.